Welcome to this week's weather briefing from the National Weather Service in Peachtree City, Georgia. Today is April 28, 2016. At 10 a.m. this morning, you can see we had a few showers and thunderstorms across central Georgia, but the majority of the storms are still down along the Gulf Coast, along the Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida coast. We are under a marginal risk of severe weather today from the Storm Prediction Center, with the greatest threats being damaging winds, frequent lightning, dime to quarter size hail. The best time frame for anything to occur will be between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. this afternoon. Here's a look at the timing for th shower and thunderstorm development today. You can see at 11 a.m. we're expecting a few showers across North Georgia but the majority of them should be located across central and southern Georgia. By 2 p.m. You, you can see the majority of the showers and thunderstorms will be pretty much located across central and southern Georgia. We're expecting this trend to continue throughout the day with everything sliding southward. Continuing with the timing, by 5 p.m. you can see we're expecting the showers and thunderstorms to be pretty much along a Columbus to Macon line and southward. And then by 8 p.m., maybe 10 p.m. at the latest, you should start to see the showers and thunderstorms diminishing across the area. As far as precipitation amounts today, you can see we're looking for anything from a trace in the extreme northwest uh, corner of the state to about an inch in the southwest corner of the state. Most areas will see a half inch or less across the area. The showers and thunderstorms we're expecting today will move south and east of the area tonight. We're expecting a warm and dry day tomorrow with highs mainly in the 80s across the area. All right, we're looking at rain chances returning for the weekend, but continued warm conditions. What you're seeing here is in the purples and blues is moisture, and in the greens and yellows, that's drier air. So as you can see here, there's a frontal system that's going to be moving out of the Mississippi River Valley and across the southeastern U.S., bringing quite a bit of moisture in across north and central Georgia. So you can see here on Saturday, uh, we do have some increased moisture mainly across north Georgia, but almost across the entire state by Sunday. So we are expecting more showers and thunderstorms through the weekend. What we're looking at here is some of the instability indices that we look at here at the Weather Service to try and determine if we're going to have showers and thunderstorms or severe weather. What you can see here is on Saturday and Sunday going from top to bottom, all of our instability indices and the uh, increased moisture all line up Saturday afternoon at 18Z, which is 2 p.m., and again on Sunday afternoon, which is 2 p.m. at 18Z. So, what, like again, like I was saying, we're looking at increased showers and thunderstorms across the area. Currently, we are not expecting any severe weather this weekend. We are only under a general thunderstorm risk. It will be very similar to a typical Georgia summertime situation where you have afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms pop up across anywhere across the area and then subside once the sun goes down. Still looking at warm temperatures. This weekend looking at temperatures mainly in the 80s with some isolated 90s across central Georgia. Looking at precipitation this weekend, it does appear that the majority of the rain will fall across North Georgia both days with anywhere from a half inch or less falling on Saturday and then again on Sunday about an inch across North Georgia. Most places will see a half inch or less on Sunday leading into Monday with the majority of the rain falling on Sunday. This is a five-day total of expected precipitation across Georgia. You can see here the two hot spots will be North Georgia, where we're looking at one to two inches total over the next five days. And the other one is across this little small section across southwest Georgia, where, it all, where we are also expecting another one to two inches. The rest of the state should see right around an inch, maybe inch and a half or less. Looking into the beginning of next week, there are some inconsistencies in the current model runs, uh, but overall the pattern does look to start becoming a bit drier by Monday afternoon into Tuesday and continue through at least Wednesday of next week. So for right now, we're only going with a 20 to 30 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and temperatures should mo mostly be in the 70s and 80s. 
So in summary, we're expecting a marginal risk of severe weather today, a warm and wet weekend, and still some uncertainty for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, but overall should be drier and still warm. Thank you for watching this week's weather briefing. We will be doing another one next Thursday.